I think this is data people in this room may have seen before or may not have seen before. So this is a little bit of older data from NSF, <clears throat> you know, on diversity in, in the ocean sciences. So it was one of the uh, recent sort of graduate student surveys where they surveyed graduate students and asked of those students survey, you know, how many of them or what proportion of them identify as coming from what would be identified as an underrepresented group. And it comes out to about, it counts about 13%. And you know, if I talk to my biology colleagues, you know, they'll look at these and they'll show me their numbers. Well, we're at 18%, so you're not doing that badly. But it's when you look at the whole number comparison where you see how big of a gulf there actually is. Uh, that 13% of the ocean sciences at the time translated to 379 total students who were underrepresented compared to over 9,500, right, in the biological sciences. So it shows you the amount of work that we actually need to be doing, right, to improve these types of numbers. Um, and this paper you know, came out a, a few years ago. It's the Bernard and Cooper uh, paper talking about no, no progress in diversity in 40 years. It's something I've been working on throughout the last 18 years, improving diversity in the broader uh, ocean sciences. <clears throat> and then they, they show this, this graph over here showing the number you know, of degrees in the different disciplines. You can see in general ocean sciences kind of lagging in general. <clears throat> but when you start to look at the makeup of who's actually getting some of these degrees, though, you can see that you know, non white participants are actually comprising very small number of those getting degrees. You actually have to zoom in uh, to actually see the numbers here. These are the actual purport, the total numbers getting PhDs right in these fields. And you can see there's been very little progress in groups such as Native American, you know, Black, non-Hispanic. Uh, you can see that Hispanics here, you know, they're slightly improving. And just to show you sort of how I identify with this, the reason I have that little red circle there, I'm one of those five in 2001 that got a PhD in the geosciences. So, so it kind of shows you just kind of what I had to go through, you know, when I was coming up. Go through the ranks of PhD programs. And so one of the things you know that I've looked at in general is sort of what are some of the causes you know of these low you know student diversity numbers, right? And there's a lot, and these don't necessarily cut equally across you know different different ethnic groups. You know, oftentimes there can be a lack of personal connection. You know, um, for example, for me, and I talk about I grew up in LA. Whenever I say that, you know, people immediately they might think about like the Oscars or a Lakers game. They always show that scene of people rollerblading on Venice Beach. Like that's a good 40 minutes away from LA proper. Like LA proper is closer to the mountain than the actual ocean. 